Gradients are great for solving geometry problems, since they're inherently geometric. And one such natural problem to solve is that of tangent planes. Let's say that you've got an implicit surface in 3D, given as the level set of an equation, f of x comma y comma z equals zero. How do you find the tangent plane at a particular point? Let's call it x naught. Well, since the gradient, grad f, is a vector that is orthogonal to that implicit surface, we can use that information to define a tangent plane. We can simply use the point-slope formula that we learned back in volume one. That is, if we take the dot product between grad f and the vector x minus x naught, that base point, set that equal to zero, that gives us a formula for the tangent plane. That is a great way to compute a tangent plane of an implicit surface in general. Let's look at a specific example consider the function f given by x cubed minus x squared y plus xy squared plus xy minus x squared plus y squared minus x plus y minus z equals zero. That's a mouthful. What's the tangent plane to this surface at the point zero comma one comma two? Check and make sure that that point satisfies this equation, indeed it does, then compute the gradient of f because that's a vector orthogonal to the surface. That is given by 3x squared minus 2xy plus y squared plus y minus 2x minus 1, then minus x squared plus 2xy plus x plus 2y plus 1, and finally negative 1. Those are the three components of the gradient. Evaluate these at x equals 0, y equals 1, z equals 2 to get the vector 1, 3, negative 1. That is a vector orthogonal to this level set at that point, and therefore, by the point-slope formula, if we take the dot product of that gradient with x minus the base point, set that equal to 0, we get the equation. That is, after a little bit of algebraic simplification, moving the constants over to the right-hand side, x plus 3y minus z equals 1. That is your answer, and that's a great way to compute a tangent plane to a level set at a point.